Uh, okay. Bjorn Fallon, for those who don't know me since before, speaking about speaking. Um, but to whom? And by whom? Uh, I was at uh, meeting C++ last week in, uh, in Berlin, and uh, I actually lost count of how many discussions I ended up in, with in, uh, in which we discussed how difficult it was for user groups and conferences to get talks uh, aimed at junior developers. And junior developers really need to, 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 to become experienced developers. They, they need support from us who are more experienced and from other speakers or uh, other developers who are a little bit more experienced than those, but maybe not super senior. So that is the problem I want to address today, because this definitely reflects the state in this user group. So here's a problem. Those who are confident to speak are experienced. That is nothing strange. And they tend to talk about advanced topics because, well, that's where they are. That's uh, what's interesting to them. Uh, those who seem see themselves as lacking experience don't really want to talk. It's, uh, it's not comfortable. So there are very few talks aimed at less experienced developers. So we risk ending up here, where the junior developers just don't feel welcome. It's like, oh, it's those experts talking again. And yeah, we have this really small core group of super gurus who think, well, this is great. I'm having such a good time with all my guru friends. Uh, I don't want it to be like that in our user group, in other user groups, in conferences. So to those of you who are senior who have been on this stage today, mentor your junior colleagues. And with colleagues, I don't just mean the people you work with. I mean people here, people you meet occasionally at other meetups, conferences, whatever. Remember the struggles you had when you were a junior? Um, Arno said that, of course, we don't remember. And that is true to some extent, but we haven't forgotten everything. And a lot of things aren't the same. I mean, I learned C++ before it was even standardized. Uh, it's quite a different thing today, but not everything has changed. Try to give talks aimed at junior and intermediate level developers. Um, I try myself to target intermediate level, but I don't think I have actually tried to target junior developers. I will try. Those of you who are junior, you have experiences. I, I met a guy who said, no, I'm, I have nothing to say. I'm, I'm so new. I, I have only worked five years. Five, five years? You have lots of experiences. Share them. When I say that to a junior developer, it usually looks like that. <laughs> but I mean it. You have experiences. Share them. You have a new insight. If it was new to you, someone else will, will not have had that insight. Share it. A problem you don't understand. Talk about it. Someone might... Uh, enlighten you. A nice solution you came up with. Maybe someone else will benefit from that too. Or a nice solution someone else came up with because they were too embarrassed to stand on the stage and talk. So you can talk for them. So then I hear people say, well, Bjorn, you are such a super experienced uh, conference speaker. So of course you can say that. So I decided to do this uh, quiz. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Rollberry is my handle on various social media. How many years of conference speaking do I have? Three. Harald is the closest. Uh, a year and a half. My first ever conference talk was uh, April 2017. 
not very long time. How many year, years of user group speaking? Two, yes. Stockholm OX01, <laughs> just over two years. How many full length conference talks? Yeah, three and a half, if you take uh, the uh, affine space types talk that I did uh, a month ago with Odisha Vit. And lightning talks. Two. No, three, actually. Actually, four. <laughs> well, you can say three and a half, because oh. the exception parsing was just weird. Uh, so. Yeah, I've been on stage at, at a number of uh, international conferences, etc. But I haven't been doing this for a very long time. And seriously, I have not delivered that many talks. Uh, so, no, I'm, I don't see myself as a super experienced conference speaker. So, if I can do this... This is me entering a stage. <laughs> uh, yeah, sta stage fright is a real thing. Uh, it's... Um, it, it sort of gets better, but once you're once you're there, <laughs> once you're there, once you start talking, it, it, it really does feel good. And if I can do this, you can do it too. So do, do stand here. The, the user group is actually a very good place to start talking. So, with that, I say thank you. Here's how you can contact me if you want to. <laughs>